this on the right thing. Uh, Space Quest 6. A terrible travesty that they should be ashamed of. Shirt looks like that commercial about shirts not holding shape. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm in here. Something happened to her back. I don't know what. I'll ask this man, I suppose. You start to say something, and then you remember that you're supposed to be a man of action, not words. Or is that the other way around? Fine. Look at everything, jackass. Apparently, the doctor is way busy as he completely ignores you. I just looked at him, though. You understand? Stella is getting treatment for her back injury. You should be ashamed of yourself for jumping on her like that, you baby. Sure. Many things rest on the center console. Most of them are merely non-functional <laughs> screen dressing. Pretty cool looking, eh? Yeah, I agree. Many things rest on... It's the keyboard for the DNA sequencer. It's the keyboard. It's the DNA sequencer scanning bed. This is where you put the food, a uh, uh, specimen, you desire to scan. Okay. It's a scale. No, you can't weigh yourself. This is one of the control panels for the biofeed scanner above the medibunk. Skilled personnel know how to properly operate this, which means you should leave it alone. Hello! It's just a crate. It's just a crate. It's just... It's just a crate. That's fine. This is a DNA... But mostly it just... This is a DNA sequencer. During a starship's travels, many different organisms and artifacts are discovered. And a DNA sequencer can come in quite handy in analyzing them. But mostly it just gets used to make sure the food replicators are working properly. And not brewing up anything that might hatch and grow inside you, for <laughs> instance. Like happened in Space Quest 3, when I got fucking face hugger, burst, chest burstered. Your words caught. Hey, don't put your mouth on that. You drool in that. I just want to talk to this bitch. It's a medibunk. It's a medibunk. All right. The fuck are we even doing? I got a fish. Pretty cool looking, huh? Two. Two what? All right. Can I not leave here? Am I doing something? Am I putting a fucking fish on a scanner? Sure. Excellent guess, Kreskin. <laughs> Wrong. Well, many things rest on the center console. Most of them are merely non-functional screen dressing. Pretty okay. Pretty cool looking, eh? Oh, DNA of the kidnappers. Thank you. I totally fucking forgot. It probably seemed like a good... This is a personal grooming. Uh, it's funny how I can't remember shit after 24 hours. I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson. The sequencer is for use by trained personnel only. Obviously, you don't fit that description. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't allow you to use it. Then you come fucking uh, do come it. Come on, Jeva. Be a pal. Who will know? I'm sorry, Mr. Wilco. It's a Starcon regulation. You can do something with in inventory that you could not before. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what. <laughs> you, Mr. Use as this. As cool as it would be. Boy, wouldn't it be. Excellent. Uh, God. I truly hate this game. And repeating things is necessary. Whoa, are you about to lose a kidney? <laughs> no, they're scanning her back for because I jumped on her and gave her a fucking crushed disc or something. Oh yeah, not the one passed out. Uh 
That sounds like you. What, that I have a crushed disc? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Ah, uh, come on. Are you, are you gonna have to do it like he turns his face or something? Something fucking stupid as shit? Just the hair is needed, not the shaver. Okay. Great. Fantastic. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, come on. I'm sorry. Boy, wouldn't it be... Uh... Yuck! It's the hair you pulled from night. Can I give it, it to him? It appear that that's an. Can you please do it? What is this crap? It's a scale. Many things rest on the center console. Yes, yes. It's a case of something you don't care about. <laughs> okay, great. It's a case of. Many things rest. What if I touch everything? You summon the ability. That wouldn't. It's dumb. That's dumb. That's dope. Um, maybe I talk to him. Jeez, Jebba. Who's gonna know? Let me try this one thing. I'll be out of your way. No one will find out. I don't know, Mr. Wilco. I'm not one to break regulation. I really don't think it's a good <laughs> idea. I swear, it'll only take a minute. We're out in the middle of nowhere. No one will find out. And I'll tell you what. Anytime you want it, one free plunge job, day or night. What do you say? Well, I don't know. He's a clog toilet clogger. It'll only take a minute or two, really. Come on, Jebba, be a pal. This is dumb. Well, okay, but just this once. If anyone finds out, I'm sunk. Then I'll come looking for you to a take it out. Job. Keep that in mind. No problem. I'll be done in a flash. What? Uh, being? I really don't know why I'm doing this. Not being able to talk to anyone, like this, being like they don't ignore, they ignore you, whatever, and then suddenly being able to talk to them because you did something doesn't make any sense. And I hate it. And this game is terrible. You look at it, but here, maybe I should save it so I don't screw anything up. At it, you wait, what the fuck? What are these buttons? It's your standard. You are visual. Why did it not do anything? Did I have to press it while it was blinking? Because you can just eat an asshole. That wouldn't. Don't. That would. Great. That white one is not a label, it's also a button. Okay. This is the program card you got from Sick Bay. Do I have to do other things? I'm assuming I got no beep boops. Does this game give me beep boops? I don't think so. Don't pick that would that would you some that wouldn't. Let me look at it. It's the key. That wouldn't. Get That's out of my way, dickhole! You did it. Never mind. Okay. Uh, where is this supposed to go? There's a reason I'm not. Here. That's an Put it in any of the holes. Boy, Click boy, everything. Who knows what it does? Yes, I don't care. Wrong. This game makes you want to drink. As cool. Okay. What's it fucking do? You data sequence the thing. I'm supposed to put it in something, maybe to analyze it, but you'd think it would be connected somehow. 
That's an interesting. Can I look at it again, or is it done forever? That's dope. You summon. It would. Don't pick. It feel. I don't know what any of your bitch ass shit does. As in all locations aboard the deep ship 86, a compost is located here. Ever since stairs were banned during the Ford administration, composts have been a necessity. Just fucking. What even? Boy, what? It pop. This. Boy, Put it in anything Excellent. that slightly looks like a slot. Excellent. <laughs> That's an. It probably. Oh, he wanted to go there. Maybe that's right. Keep walking, you fucking cunt. Neat. I've always wanted to try one of these on the compost. What's it do? Why would that... Why would you... What? File closed. Back. Did you do it? Is it still waiting? What the fuck are you even doing? Did you... Oh, hi, Stellar. I hope your back's feeling better. They just finished treating me, and it is starting to feel better. However, I was told to lay off rescuing people for a while. Especially you. So, did you did have they... any luck? Did they not want to animate? I got some information from the sample I ran through the DNA sequencer. When I tried it, all I got was a name. All it said after that was that the file is closed. I wonder why that is. I don't know for sure, Roger, but it seems a bit suspicious. When a file is marked like that, there's usually a very good reason. Most frequently, it indicates the file is closed for intelligence purposes, or it's legally sealed by some judicial body. Let's forget about the, the whole thing. Of those tubs of guts that grabbed you. I'd have to say it's not a government agency directly behind it. it sounds more like someone with access from the outside to a friend or two inside. A more paranoid person might say this smells way wrong. Then again, when did you last change your socks? Thanks, Gary. If the files are sealed, then we have nothing to go on. Yep, let's just give up. True. The only thing I can think of is that they may be accessible by jacking into cyberspace. I've never done it, but I know it can be done. So I guess this means you won't be trying it first. Uh, I mean, I I'd love to try it, but I can't since... Uh, what? Try what? Jacking into space? Well, actually, I read it can be done with the help of a cyber jack and headset and a cyberspace jack interface module. The article said there are several things to access out there and that there's a vast library of files to browse. It's said that the Information Superhighway Project is a little behind schedule, but that there are some operative areas. Other than that, I don't have a clue as to how we can gain any information about them. Good, let's give up! So you think this cyberspace thing could work? Well, I can only tell you what I've read. Let's use the 80s internet. Patience, but I think it's the only option you have. I don't know if you'll locate a cyberjack and headset. Because of the delays in the project, they've become more like collector's items than marketable, functionable products. <laughs> you do have cyberjack modules travel. built into the compost. That's true. Of course, we won't know anyway without the jack. That bites. I wonder where we could Who find Who cares? It. I wish I knew, Roger. There must be some place. You're boring humans! Attention! We are now orbiting the Delta Berxelon 5 colony Delta as requested Berk. by Starcom. Most of you know your assignments as they have been broadcast to your composts. Please represent Starcom properly. Gilbalsa, out. You better get moving since you don't know yet what your assignment is. I have some checking around to do. We'll talk later. Okay. Thanks, Stellar. I'll see you soon. Maybe we can work in that uh, dinner. Wankmeister! <laughs> Designing women reference, nice. <laughs> um, the... On Tiny Toons' How I Spent My Summer Vacation, the, the riverboat is called the good ship Delta Burke. <laughs> blah, blah. 
This is a Beetlejuice clamoring hagfish fern. You've tried everything you could think of to get it back to health. Unfortunately, all you could think of to do was to stand over it and say, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. You fucking don't say Beetlejuice two more times. It was uh, Greg the Bunny, but he said it all three. That's not okay. <laughs> you won't need that hint book. You've already won Space Quest 4. Huh? You won't need to take the Autobox card. Here on the Deep Ship 86, there's no need for... It's kind of like a Royal Caribbean cruise. Oh... Don't bother with it. The batteries are... I just Unless want to pick up everything. To star generator in the immediate vicinity. This remote won't be of any use. And there isn't. You won't be needing the whistle. No. I'm going to need something on this table. You watch. The pocket pal will be of no use to you whatsoever. That cigar butt is a piece of your history. You would no sooner carry it around than you would your golden mop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've long since used up all the matches in this book. The cover is lying around as a souvenir. You'll be disappointed like the rest ah, of the game. Okay. Nothing like the feel of a solid. I'm still gonna click you everything. You won't need that buckazoid on board. Save it. Put it towards your education. You won't need it. It's reminding you of your inadequacy just fine where it is. Give me my shoes. Or my You're pants. Perfectly or my mop. mop. <laughs> I gotta touch everything. Now's no time to catch. Ah, there's nothing like the feel of a picking up. Damn it, Roger, you're a. Shut up. I'm sick that of you, Gary. Move. Leave it alone. Like last. Don't pick it up. Now you. Don't. Feels. Fine. Your kitchen is in here, complete with garbage disposal, solid waste regenerator, and cockroaches. Cockroach. It's your food replicator. Technically, He's got all these things from previous Space Quest games in here, but where did he keep them while I was in space? Your that's a good question. That's one of your kitchen is in here, complete. Your quarter. That's one of the advantages of living in a. Your quarters are. Co that's what. Uh, is this nothing? Can we just do nothing? We make... yeah, are we supposed to just go? The closet isn't worth opening. Wow, a message for me. Great. I must be getting popular. Pants of holding. I wonder what it is. Press play, you asshole! Wilco, Commander Kilbasa here. Yep. I have a special assignment for you. A crew person of special skills is required on Delta Bercelon 5. In the spirit of Starcon cooperation, we have decided to offer them your assistance. Transport there immediately. Kilbasa out. Okay, this was unnecessary to be here. Is this just an a Easter egg screen? Where the fuck was I supposed to go? I don't want to go to the brig. Yeah, more. Sure. Yes. Did I need to do anything else? Okay, I'm ready. I don't want to. Energize. Okay, great. Oh. Commander Kielbasa and that other guy look like they're just finishing up a conversation. Janitor Wilco, Dr. Bellows and I were just talking about you. Please report to Sharpay's quarters, Janitor Wilco. She is in need of someone with your special skill set. Be quick about it. Her toilet is clogged. Yes, she needs sir. a plunge job. Are indicator lights, not but get with the program. Don't touch it. You're really gonna make me like press on the tiny things. Ugh. Quarters, I guess. You didn't bring your fucking mop, dick. Is 
Is this where is can we leave? Bless. Oh man, is this her? Janitor second class, Roger Wilco, reporting as ordered, ma'am. Wilco, you say? Yes, Valenice. Yes, ma'am. Well, Mr. Wilco, I expected you here some time ago. I've been kept waiting for minutes now. I don't like you. I'm very sorry, Matt. Ugh. Save the pathetic whimperings for your Starcon superiors, which I would expect includes everyone and everything on the food chain over there. Yes, I am very low. I came as... Young man, I lack the time, and most importantly, the patience to indulge you Me as too. you whine your way from one excuse to the next. May we please just begin? I want to begin! For Sorry, the love of God, but yes. I wasn't briefed on what tasks would be required of me. Plunge job! You are a janitor, Mr. Wilco. What do you think I want from you, a heart transplant? <sighs> what has become of Starcon? When my fifth husband, Admiral Bluntfang, served, the crop of up-and-coming cadets seemed to have such promise. Ah, I recall this one rather striking cadet. Ooh. You're the one who's not moving along! Never mind that. Valenice! But you, I pray you do not typify what might be slithering down the halls of our formerly prestigious academy. That is one thing I do not look forward to. It is an E.T. finger. Get to work, oh, Mr. No. Wilco. You'll find a mop and a bucket right <coughs> over there. Ugh. I have no time to devote to your education. That would take a lifetime and the most Just tell me amount of mop the floor a could muster. My life is soon to expire. Please, just clean. I must rest now. No one asks for this. Ugh. <coughs> yeah. This is fascinating. I assure you. This is like, people are like, adventure games have a lot of words, right? Let's just put a bunch of words in it. Rattle the handle on that commode. It is positively maddening. Just like you. You got it, Toot. Um, uh, I mean, right away, ma'am. Toots. Whatever I can do. Please. You've never said toots. And quietly, I must have my rest. <laughs> Look at my skills. Mr. Wilco, it is time for me to take my meds. This is suck! Please fetch my trisonic sortium from the medicine cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Maybe I can get this old hag to overdose. What was that, janitor? Say it in your head, uh, Roger. Nothing, ma'am. Uh, I'll get those for you right away. She did something shady? Was it while I was, um, screaming? Just tell me, I don't care. Do I have to jiggle the... Where's the medicine cabinet? You summon the ability to... Don't touch that. Where's the fucking medicine cabinet? None of these things look like a medicine cabinet. Jesus. I can't find her medicine. I don't think she knows what she's talking about. Oh, she's got a little doogee here. Is she gonna kill me? Hey, what the? While we await a fully formed thought from Roger, it should be mentioned that there seems to be some sort of gas entering the room through Great. the left vent. Great. Maybe I'll die and this will be over. Hey, there seems to be some sort of gas entering Thanks, the room Roger. through the left vent. I seem to be in a world of deep... Ah, jeez, the door! You realize your strength alone will be no- Well, just That's beat up the old help. woman. Move it, man. Rats, it won't budge. I've got to get out of here somehow. It's timed and you no can room. die. That's what I figured. The walls are solid bulkhead, and I'm too big to flush myself out of here. This is the only way. What would MacGyver do now? 
Yeah, you just can't get enough of that mopping action. I'm gonna die. It's great. Put it, yeah, shove it in here. Get enough of that Grab a towel, shove it in the thing. I saved it right before I got the mirror. It's fine, I'm not it too concerned. Fucking take her shit. That's not going to help. Isn't she gonna die That's or is she trying to, to die? Move it, man. What do I got in my pockets? Can I open this like a as cool as it door? Would be. Fucking I don't know. Who cares? You summon the ability. It would that That's dope. This is the personal medical suite of the legendary Sharpe. She spends her advancing. Yes, you've seen the hollow ads. You've seen the infomercials. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only, the crapmatic adjustable bed. Yes, there's no mistaking it. The programmable mattress shapes to at least five different skeletal. Don't be the last one in your. What if that I wouldn't? That's not. That's not. That's not. Give me your you shit, don't, bitch. Don't, you don't. That's not going to help. She seems to be resting rather peacefully. She seems to be re- She see- She see- Yes, you- Yes, don't- The Hydro Riser Piston gleams proudly. Are you dying? That's fine. Good riddance. Game over. Let's quit. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I see it was I a different can't find her medicine. Hey, what the While we hey, Yeah, 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 shut up, wouldn't... shut up. I need this piston maybe. Pick it up, you weak. You give the piston a yank and sure enough, it comes loose in your hands. Perhaps it was your raw strength. More than likely, it was defective. <laughs> Shut up, Roger. Die silently. Do we use this to open a door? Good thinking! Wedged in the door, the manual override control causes the piston to strain against the door. It pushes a few inches and seems to strain at that point. Go in there, dickwad! Wilco! Oh, hi, Stellar. What are you doing here? There's no time to talk, Roger. We've got to get out of here now! One... Two... Why can't you zap me wherever you came from? Three! Is she gonna die for some reason? Can you zap away? Just as you crash to the floor of the turbo shaft, the hydro riser piston gives way, and the door slams shut, with Stellar still trapped inside. Yeah, she's fucking teleported in. Just teleport out. Nonsensical you nonsense! The seams of the bulkhead door, but to no avail. Just then, you hear and feel an explosion, which seems to have come from behind the door. Maybe she's dead. I don't care. I don't know her. It's fine. The she had back problems. Tight. You can hear no other noise after the ear ringing from the blast subsides. <laughs> she had a long I, life. I, I can't believe this. It can't be happening. She was... Uh, I was... She had back problems. <laughs> Untatable. You can't just manufacture her showing up and then that she can't get out. Get it, get fucked. I don't care. Also, this is not it's Sierra hard logic. Hard this is this bad is Sierra game suite. logic. The setting is much like the graphics you've scanned in the library from those planets more interesting in their climatic diversity. From the scenic jutting peaks, salt hills, and lake in the conjured distance to the lush pixelized growth of trees, flowers, and grass in the foreground, the hollow deck has that sublime park-like perfection. Unfortunately, its serene beauty is sadly negated by the headstones and the solemn event about to occur. 
the laying to rest of your rescuer and true friend, My true Stella friend. Santiago. I know, her, I knew her all of you three hours. You are as you have never felt before, perhaps helped along by the relatively short stints aboard the various ships, as well as all too brief friendships, you've been spared the emotional devastation of true loss by lack of attachment. This, however, is a different feeling, far different from anything you've ever experienced. You can't help but wonder how you'd act towards Stellar given a second chance. But you know that can never happen. She gave her life for you, and you will never be able to thank her. She knows it's cool. Enough smarm already. Let's funeral. Let's funeral. Ladies and or gentlemen, we assemble here today to honor the memory of a former crewmate, Lieutenant First Class Stella Santiago. Her unfortunate death takes place in the shadow of a new community. The dawning of a new life for the aged of our galaxy. Aged. Although death is never easy to accept, we must remember. I that accepted the this one already. The accident which took her from our midst occurred while she was on duty. If a member of Starcon must perish for some reason, there is no more honorable way. It is part of the oath we recite and take to heart when we pledge our allegiance. I believe her friend, Janitor Second Class Roger Wilco, has a few words he'd like to say. No, I don't Mr. have anything. Wilco. Stellar, I barely knew thee. Weep, weep. You can't just insert bullshit. Read your eulogy. Uh. I only knew Stellar for, uh. Three for hours! Tw 32 I minutes! I, uh. Could have gotten to know her much. Uh, much, uh, better to have had a deeper understanding of this, uh, person. I, I was proud to have called. You're a real friend. wordsmith, Roger. Of my friend, I can only say this. Of all the souls I have encountered... You spelled souls wrong, friend, Dick. Hers were the most... Scuffed, resistant. Oh, I see, it wasn't. Funny, funny, haha. -ha. Oh, suck them all down. I think I got that, the, uh, that belt. That was dangerous. Oh my god. Eulogy is a Star Trek movie reference. I'm a, I'm a more of a Star Wars guy. Nice. Holodeck. Yep. <laughs> Where is she actually? Oh, put away your eulogy, Roger. What is this? These are the holodeck programming controls. Those buttons seem to be self-explanatory. I wonder what they do. Yeah, let, let's fuck with it. Let's fuck with the holodeck. That seems... Because there's no... Goal in this game. The sucking vacuum is them being taken back. I mean, that's real. They're on the hollow deck, but this part is real. These are the hollow deck. These are the hollow. Do you know things? Please enter program code. I don't know anything. It's fine. Exit. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the body. That's a good question. Ugh. What are we even supposed to do? Are we trying to look for fucking people? Do we need more information? But we don't care. It's like when I played fucking... New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas, and it's like, a guy shot you in the head. Don't you want to, like, go find him? And I'm like, no, he shot me in the fucking head. I could just stay here and listen to fucking Johnny Guitar. <laughs> uh. I don't know. Let's go to the bridge, I guess. Hello. Did you hear 
hear me complain about Johnny Guitar. No, I love Johnny Guitar. I would never complain. Um, where am I supposed to go? Who am I supposed to talk to? What are you supposed to do? I don't care. This game sucks. Janitor will go. You must have something to clean up somewhere. Make yourself scarce. Did you try You're to kill me? Busy up here. Is no one concerned about that bitch that tried to kill me? Probably you not. You start to say something, and then you remember that you're supposed to be a man of action. Shut up. What is this? I'm gonna fuck with your seat. Yeah? You rearrange the commander's chair, and he'll rearrange you. You heard that rant? Fantastic. You got here just in time. I don't want a bunch of places to go to that don't fucking matter. Communications are offline due to short-sighted design work. <sighs> Lols. Database. Science database. I think that is what she wanted me to look at. Medical issues. Periodic table. That's not what I want. Whoops. Uh, no. Cyber functions. I've got mail. That's del- Up in my room, maybe? When in doubt, go back to your room. Your internet's bad again. Yeah, it's not mine this time. It says I got good shit. Use your unlimited data. There's no danger now. Wow, a message for me. I must be getting popular. I wonder what it is. Just play it, Roger! Roger, help me. I only have a moment. They faint. Oh. Stella, what happened? The picture's gone. You were alive? I mean, they never had a body. I didn't see her die. Who do I talk to? Who's my friends? Um... I don't know, man. Let's go places. Let's 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 search the places. That's gravity, sex, kill K boss. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe not. Oh, there's something in there. I hate this. With the force field in place, you can't reach anything in that cell. It's moving. Now there's a real bright idea, but then perhaps you deserve the consequences. If the force field were turned off, you'd be the only one to suffer the consequences. In the event that someone might be looking over your shoulder, we'll save your embarrassment for another time. Are you going to tell me I can't do that? You flick the force... You flick the force field on and off. Oh, he's an invisible guy. All right. I see. That's fine. Cool. Great. I'm glad I got it. Game eight. over, man. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. Being a good Samaritan. With the force field. Shut up. It's fine. What's this? You summon the ability. It's a hovercraft for transporting replicated food. Mr. Soylent. Uh, let's go everywhere. Sure. I was here. I remember at the beginning. What is this crap? Under normal circumstances, such as while you're supposed to be working, you'd feel free to sit down and drink and eat to your heart's content. But duty calls. Look, it's pelvis. Does duty call? Where was I supposed to go? The hollow cabana was where we were, right? I don't know anything about this. 
Maybe you should tell the captain about the message. Yeah, that's probably true. But he's such a dick. He told me to go do something. Or was I down here before that? Commander Kilbasa, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I just received a distress message on my compost. And it was from Stella. Yep. yep, yep. Critical, have you been whipping cleaning fluid again? I'm absolutely as sane as I've ever been. She's being held on Delta Berksalon by Sharpay. Wilco, do you realize how irrational that yeah, sounds? Yeah, it sure does. We buried Stella. You were there. I mean, fakely. Maybe you need a rest. Take a couple of hours off. Sir. Wilco, we have our orders from Starcon, and we'll be carrying them out. Drop it, Janitor. Leave the bridge now, Wilco. I've made my decision. The message was from her, so she died, we thought. We had a funeral for her, and now we, she, we got a message from beyond the grave that she's not really dead. But that's all we know. Back to my quarters. I don't know, maybe I got more mail. Maybe I should just sit around and listen to my mail. Where can we go? Transport over to... What's the face? Nope, no more. Let's fucking... I don't know. Can we transport? How close are we? It's interested only in its job. It has not one speck of personality. In fact, it could make you look like the life of any party. Cool. So you're not interested in helping me, eh? Send me somewhere. Send me somewhere better than this. I hate this game. I hate everything about this game. <laughs> I don't have any friends. I don't know who to talk to. Maybe, maybe I'm trying. This seems like a, something you gotta get past. What up? Magnum doesn't talk. He fancies himself to be like one of those Buckingham Palace types. There. This seems like someplace I could die. You consider saying hi until you remember how dedicated he is to his job. And you wouldn't want him to get in trouble. I wonder why you don't worry about that. Yeah, I don't care. What's this? Mmm, a nice fatty donut. Magnum will probably scarf this down. After all, he needs to maintain his boyish tub of guts fingers. Maybe, maybe give me your cake. Don't touch that. We don't. There's a friend in the lounge. Okay. Would be nice for them to like set up that I have a fucking friend. Is it pelvis? I just know of him from a wall hanging. Was it here? Should have just randomly talked to people, but I'm just like, I don't know anybody, nobody likes me. Hello, Roger. And I tried to Please sit there! Me in consuming something. Thanks, Sydney. You seem uptight. They say what? Upright? What are you talking about, Sydney? Uptight was the word. Perhaps that is too archaic a reference for you. It would have been more effective to say that you seem concerned. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I do have a thing or two. Uh, well, at least something on my mind. I am sorry to hear this. I hope your concerns are soon alleviated. Thanks, Sid. I do have to come up with some solutions. This is all very generic! Oh, that wasn't it? Great! Waste of time! Don't interrupt them. They're on break. 
Don't interrupt them. Don't interrupt them. Um, do I have something to talk about? Like a eulogy? Do I have to give him something to talk to me? Do I talk to the plants? Sydney, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Flame away, Roger. You know I'd give you my right appendage if you needed it. Funny you should say that, Sydney. I kind of have this situation where that very item could come in handy. Really? Well, I was merely saying that uh, metaphorically. You really are a great friend, Sydney. That'll come in real handy. I can't thank you enough, Sydney. Thank you for what? Well, if you really are seriously in your the right of, arm, you didn't I give it to me I yet. Thank you for nothing. All right, you now thank right you. Back to me, won't you, Roger? Maybe I don't know what oh, I need it for. Yeah. You bet your nut flanges, Sydney. Do I need more shit from you? None of this makes any sense, and I hate it. Sydney, I kind of need another favor. I need one of your eyes. Pardon me, Roger. For a second, I thought you said you also wanted one of my eyes. Yes, I did. Auditory circuits diagnosed. Well, actually, Sydney, I I could use one of your eyes. If you really need it. If I did things in the right oh, order. I really do, Sydney. You're a mechanized lifesaver. You will return them soon, right, Roger? Oh, uh, of course, Sydney. Real soon. Listen, I've got a couple of things I've got to attend to. I'll see you soon. Uh, thanks, Sydney. As long as you say it will be soon, Roger. Oh, yeah. Uh, see you soon, Sydney. The way to guide someone through a story is not to just drop you off in the middle of some place with eight options of where to go. There's a way to do this and this is not it. Roger, are you here to return soon, Sydney? Well, I do hope it's soon. You got Sydney won't be interested in talking to you any. Okay, great. We have his fucking eyes. I hate this game! Are we trying to steal a ship at this place? The, like a shuttle bay? Talking to those fucking loads? It's a rich world for you to explore, right? Fucking no! I don't even want to do the main quest. Why would I fucking go look for these fuckers? We're out in space. I could probably never see them again if I just go off into the fucking world. The fucking universe. Just fucking live your life, Roger. Hey. Can we talk I to them? He doesn't want to talk to you. We come out here. Maybe you just walk through oh what the fuck is that game look at you you don't even fucking block me fucking turds an interesting idea fight him Interest who cares I really nobody even knows why we're supposed to be here it feels slightly gritty this is it feels nobody will talk to me you consider i wonder why you magnum you won't fight him i really don't you can't touch Any anything. You fucking walk through the walls. You are seeing the matrix. Yeah. Look. This is all bullshit. It's wrong layers. Can I steal his shit? I tried that before. Don't touch that. I touched his butt. That wouldn't. It Nothing makes sense. It Nothing it is obvious. Nothing makes me want to do this at all. I haven't been back to sick bay. Sure, let's go there. Let's talk to Jebba. He, we seem to be on a good terms. What up, Jebba? See, you gonna ignore Your me. Words cause everything to become... and nothing here is worth anything. Everything about this game is garbage. 
I've been to the transporter. I've been I've been to all these fucking places. Don't pick at it. I don't know. Fucking DNA sequencing. Sure. Here. You no, I don't picked. fucking know anything. Ship's functions. Hollow joints. Food replicator. For your sanity, maybe we should not finish this game. No, everyone's helping me. Don't touch that. If I was playing this by myself, I already would have gave up or like just had a walkthrough open and said fuck it. So we got a DNA sequencer. What is it? Why do we need an it's arm? Like arm circuit Sydney. This is and I don't care anything about this game. Quit trying to talk me out of it. We're finishing this game. This, this is half of the enjoyment of anybody logging into my bullshit is that I hate the world. There are things in the drawers in sickbay, okay. It's soft. It's soft. It. What drawers? I gotta click every fucking cube. It feels like that. That would. It's soft. It's. Where are their drawers? It's a muddy bum. It's a. It's a. It's a. Fucking under that keyboard, under this one. That wouldn't prove it. Is it under this guy's keyboard? He ignores you. All the way to the right, you see the handles, I see. Morphine. It's a bottle of morphine. Give it to me. We use it on those fucking lugs? Is that what's happening? Or we inject it into the cookies? Get out of my fucking way, you fucking cunt! It We're gonna lose mom fun. if I start saying cunt. Apologies. Are there more? Can, can you open multiple drawers? It feels... No. Oh, God. Every area of this game is intolerable. I need a holodeck code. From fucking where? I'm gonna do what I thought about. It won't work. It's fine. It well, probably seemed like no. Act. I need a holodeck code. Is it fucking in the manual? Is it a copyright protection thing? Cause they forgot to put it in the game. Is it something I can find in my compost? I'm sure they feel really clever about naming it that. Great. Okay, ship's functions. Hollow joints, is that what it is? Next page. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> telling you stuff out of order without telling you why so it makes it seem worse. Don't don't give excuses to this game. If I can do it out of order, I would do it out of order. Look up Vulcans. What? Or something like that. 
Where do you look up anything? Like, what? <laughs> Can I just press the number? Oh, good. Entity. Oh, like in known races? Spiny alien things. Bulgars? The game assumes you were bored, so you read everything in the database. I'm not gonna, because I don't like this game. The Vulgars are a peaceful race of brilliant and logical thinkers whose only real joy in life is to stride around the galaxy with superior attitudes and correct other people's grammar and spelling. They also enjoy designing outer space strategy simulation games. This makes them nearly as inseparable as university acad academic academicians, but not as well paid. Academics, man. Write down the code at the end of the entry. Considering their placid and studious lifestyle, it's interesting to note that the Vulgars have developed an extremely practical martial arts technique called the Vulgar Nerve Pinch. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. In no way is it just like fucking hide a number somewhere. With no fucking reason why you would do it, you're like, oh, maybe you'll enter this in this thing. Sabatini's doing me a solid. <laughs> Get me through this nightmare. Enter shit, bitch. So basically what you're trying to do is find a donut so you can Welcome spike it with morphine and give it to the guy on the left. Five, 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 one, two, one, two, the vulgar nerve pinch. Despite our reputation for being pacifists, we vulgars have developed an extremely practical martial arts technique used mainly for defensive purposes. It is called the vulgar nerve pinch. Yeah. This is a tactile oral maneuver in which the applier pinches the bundle of nerve fibers at the base of the neck while whispering into the victim's ear dialogue from either Tango and Cash or Hudson Hawk. <laughs> this particular combination of nerve stimuli and loss of cerebral control due to the torturous mantra of movie dialogue results in a searing flash of pain and then unconsciousness. In effect, it is similar to a temporary orally induced robotomy. Great. Victims are soon rendered unconscious for several hours. When they awaken, they will remember nothing of how they came to be unconscious, if they are extremely lucky. I shall demonstrate on my most eager volunteer. That's you not will please to pay attention. Address the subject in this manner. Please to notice the location of my hand as I begin the narcotic chant of cinematic morphine. He mutters something thankfully unintelligible into the ear of the volunteer. He said something about his sister. We have fun. Oh, get a hubba hubba going in the wee. Hubba hubba. So, you know what as I mean? you can see, it is very effective. If you can apply a proper grip to the neck, it will disable nine out of ten neck bearing species. Neck bearing. This completes our program. Thank you. They're movie lines from Tango and Cash, okay. And finding the donut is gonna be so hard that even telling me what I need is, is gonna be still hard. That's such nonsense. I don't I don't like hearing that. I mean I like knowing. But 
<laughs> it does not give me hope. Hope is dead. So this can get rid of the guy on the right, huh? Uh, man. This is terrible! Like... It's just... It's only long because the stuff you're supposed to do doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, can I just fucking use my hands on him now? See, I wanted to fight him. I wish they would have let me fight him and fail before. Ooh, boy, I got you with my fingers in your Kurt Russell. No, you can't get a lie. I got you now that you've got a card to believe this is a real job. Oh. Only Police Quest 4 oh. is worse than this game. <laughs> oh, you're not going down. I got you with your mumble jumbo and your hobby chubby. Oh, boy, I uh, I, if I only could... I've not played any of the police easy. quest Ooh, ones. Why don't you step outside, pal? I got you with this and I... Mm, I think I broke a fingernail here. Okay, great. Codename Iceman is the hardest Sierra game ever made and it's still better than this. Oh, great, I'm in the brig. All right, that's, I think that's it for tonight. Fucking, I feel depleted after this evening. <laughs> like, I'm just like, why is it so bad? It defies everything I know of Sierra. Wow, what a turd. Thank you for joining me on this ride and helping me slog through it. Tomorrow we will continue. Oh man, is he gonna kill me? What's happening here? Enjoy. Okay. I'll be back to pick up the cart. With the force field on, I trust you won't be going anywhere. <clears throat> I have some matters to attend to now. All right. Later, all. 